On the coast of southeast Queensland, within the waters of Moreton Bay, is a small national park called Peel Island. Witness to many uncommon historical events and home to an abundance of wildlife, the island was first used as a quarantine station for the citizens of the Brisbane area and went on to become home to Lazarettos in which patients diagnosed with Hansen's disease or leprosy were isolated from other people. Despite its unusual history, Peel Island is a great destination for anyone visiting the Redlands area or just looking for a day out. Only accessible by watercraft, it continues to provide families with outings to be remembered. Luckily, I have been offered a trip to Peel from Craig Margetts on his sailing catamaran, Scarlet. After making our way outside the bay and toward the island, I met with the captain of the boat to discuss how the National Park came to be such a popular day out destination. So I'm here with Craig Margetts, who's had this boat for nine years and has been kind enough to give us a trip to people. So, Good evening. Good afternoon, how are you? Good, thank you. So, how did you find out about Peel? Well, Peel Island's well known for to sailors in the uh, in the bay. It's a popular spot for people to come for a day trip. But the history of Peel, I learned about uh, after I came here the first time. Okay, so as you may know, um, Peel Island was used as an origin station for patients diagnosed with leprosy um, until 1959. There was no verbal use of the island, and finally, in 1992, it was open to the public as a national park. So, are you glad they decided to do that? Yes, it's a great spot to come to in the uh, in the bay, um, and it's an interesting history to uh, to learn about as well. Amidst the mid 1870s, the island was opened by the colonial government isolate sick and infected sailors until they found a steep decline in immigration and general public health. During the time period from 1907 to 1959, the northwest corner of Peel Island was declared a lazaretto for those who were found to carry Hansen's disease, otherwise known as leprosy. Typically forcefully removed from their homes, the patients had to endure less than satisfactory living conditions. So here you can see how difficult it would have been to get off the island if you were a sailor that was being kept here. So. Because you can see how rough the ground is and how long you would have to travel and then swim. But most people didn't swim back in those days, so it was pretty, it was pretty um, escape proof. It was at this moment I decided to stop beating around the bush and see the leper colony for myself. Unfortunately, we can't go any further because this is a restricted access area. And that's because this is the only intact example of, um, in Australia of an isolated multicultural lazarette. And it, it obviously could be easily damaged by human disturbance, but this is um, the closest look that we can get. Peel Island is now one of the most prominent destinations for people of the Redlands area to enjoy their weekend. With attractions such as Horseshoe Bay and bushwalks through the National Park, there is something for everyone. Whether you would enjoy the open waters of the bay or an exploration of the 74 species of bird that roam the centre of the island, you will be guaranteed a worthwhile visit. So come and discover the abundance of wildlife and the interesting history for yourself. <laughs>